Hey everybody, this is John here, your uh, DM with a quick little insert. Just going to give credit where credit's due. This episode goes out to Grace Clements, who convinced me to get off my butt and actually get these episodes out the door. Apologize for the downtime, and we hope you enjoy the uh, double release of these episodes. Thanks. Welcome everybody to yet another episode of Playing Games with Strangers. I'm not even going to try to guess what episode number we're on because, quite frankly, I lost count. Uh, With us this week, as per usual, we have uh, Celeste Mora, uh, who plays, I always forget your character name, and I, I always feel stupid for not knowing it. In this game or in no in this game Aylin, everybody knows who Aelin is. They're, she's everybody's favorite halfling. She is. But in the <laughs> in, in the randoms, uh, uh, Carrie. Carrie, that's right. Carrie Fisher. Um, no, <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, and we have Steve McDonald. Hi, everybody. The fireman on the mark. We have J.S. Earls. <laughs> Okay. Um, believe it or not, he's the, the mastermind behind uh, <laughs> behind uh, Sumo Girl and codename Super Force. Uh, we have Josiah Crandall. Present and accounted for. Uh, who it plays various characters throughout the entire uh, throughout the entire um, Supersonic universe. I am forgetting the name of everything tonight. I, I wonder if Alzheimer's is kicking in. Um, and then uh, guesting with us for tonight, and who knows for how long, depends on how long it takes to get through this arc, uh, we have Eric Compagno. Would you say it correctly? You know how to say it. <laughs> we have Eric Compagno, who plays Graham on the randoms. He's the jerk that's ruining my life. Yes, and I am. And one of and one of my uh, best friends in real life, uh, former singer of my last band as well. So the only person here who has actually not a stranger to me. So uh, he will be guesting this evening. Does anybody have anything they would like to hawk before we dive into the game? Nope. Thanks for having me. Yeah, well. You, you you can you can share your appreciation when we get to the end of the episode instead of preemptively because you may not be so thankful. Um, oh, all right, please. I played another D and D game with you. I I know what you're about. <laughs> I'm actually much kinder in this game. Uh, um, okay, so without further ado, we'll go ahead and roll the music and then recap on the other side. Okay, who remembers what happened last session? I don't. I tried to kill a guy that could kill me. We ran into Cthulhu. You did run into Cthulhu. An endless sand or something like that. Um, yep. (laughs) Wow, okay. And a tower. (laughs) And Aelin did a cool flippity-do. I did. All right, we so found, to, we found everyone we lost except yeah. for Callum. Well, Poor Callum. Callum. Or, Calum. No, you're right. Calum. It is Callum. It is Callum. I thought Calum, so. Calum is my problem to bear. I apologize, Kate. Don't hate me. Um, all right, so y'all went to the prison to bust uh, Gareth out of jail. Um, you fought some guards. Uh, 
through uh, strange means, Gareth had an encounter with the keeper again. And uh, he kind of was busted out by the keeper and met you guys just after your uh, guard encounter. You upstairs in the uh, in the j- in the uh, tower that that houses the jail, and you found a door that led to a vast realm of shifting sand and blowing wind. Um, you managed to close the door on some tentacles that were trying to come through. You had left and decided to go back to the go to the inn known as the Yawning Portal, where you met uh, Durham. Oh, yes. <laughs> Jernan, I mean. Sorry, I said his it's name It's all wrong. coming back to me. Um, and through some misadventures with Jernan, uh, doing some, and and, uh, <laughs> and Josiah doing an excellent job of not metagaming who Jernan was, <laughs> <laughs> um, he flipped a switch and some panels dropped over the windows and blocked everything out. And you guys, I believe you all were asking about the defiance, if I if I remember correctly. We were, and I, then I believe Orbog started to attack. I killed I thought him. We rolled for initiative. Yep. Ah, okay. Yeah, I thought there were a bunch of people that showed up. Yeah, uh, a bunch of people had entered into the room about that time as well. I am, I, I are remembering now. So, and he said I only get one shot, but is, did he mean one more shot, or that was my one shot? That was your one shot because you took a swing at him with your axe. No, we, we didn't. I don't think we did roll initiative because you took the swing at the axe. He caught it and said yeah. you only get one. It felt uh, like we were going to roll initiative. Ah, no, we have no, sh- we have no chance. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we will pick it up. Um, cause you guys were talking about the defiance and I think he had mentioned Stumblefoot to you guys. If I recall. So you guys are in this barricaded, uh, in front room the windows have blocked themselves out and someone has put a barricade in front of the door and Dernan's looking at the four of you and he's like, so why again, were you looking for the defiance? Oh, well, uh, that, that would be a me. Yeah. And I raise my hand. Uh, we were looking for the tall fellow that maybe uh, somewhat resembles myself a bugbear wait that's who we're looking for his name is Christopher I okay um the defiance is uh we're kind of against Christopher we're trying to free the town so if you come here looking for Christopher you're in the wrong spot you see, we're here to free Christopher. Free Christopher. He thinks he's under some sort of spell or something. No. No, no spell. But, uh... Well, maybe we should have the boss talk to you before I start giving out too much information. Oh, you mean you're not the boss? No. And he goes back to a a a, a door a uh, wall, just a an inconspicuous looking uh, bookshelf in the inn, and he pulls on a uh, particular book, and in typical mystery movie fashion, the bookshelf opens, and Eric, why don't you describe the individual that they see be- at a d- at a desk in the room inside? Um, well, you see a blonde haired dwarf. He has a bushy beard, um, for about the first foot. And then after that going down, you know, the length of his 
chest and belly, it's wrapped in a leather thong. Um, he's wearing um, some robes, and um, uh, he, yeah, he's he, he's a dwarf. So Gareth, kind of dwarfy. Gareth, you recognize this individual as Stumblefoot. Stumblefoot, my friend, how are you? Oh, I know that voice. Gareth, is that you, lad? Oh, it yeah, is. Oh, it's been a number of years since I've seen you. It has been. Well, I'll... what's what's this about? Well, we are trying to do a, a couple of things here. Um, we have sort of stumbled into this town without knowing exactly uh, the recent history. So we've uh, come afoul of uh, the law, so to speak. And... Um, we heard that you had had come here. Uh, we went to the church in uh, the south there town that we were in, and um, and then we came here to ostensibly look for you and also to uh, to ascertain what would, what else was going on. So it's so good to see you. Oh, it's good to see you. I it's uh, it's easy to run a follow the law these days. Uh, the town is. A former shadow of what it once was, you know. Waterdeep, yes. it used to be run by a council of uh, masked lords, but a while ago a druid named Zeus uh, overthrew him and take over the town. And uh, his minion, Christopher the Bugbear, has been uh, running things here in the city ever since. And so when you say minion, um, I... Oh, my name is Pooh of the House of Sanders. Uh, nice to meet you, Mr. Uh, Foot. Um, when you say minion, you of course mean a, a, a captive slave, all right? Uh, I don't rightly know. I've never met the chap. All I know is that he works for Zeus, and uh, he's not in much trouble. And what do you know of Zeus? Well... I know that he's not what he seems and that he's working for somebody named Damien. Damien. We've heard that name before. Yes. We have. Do you remember the note when we went and... Um, oh, Mr. Went to... Goat? The Goat I... Note. The Goat Note. Yes. Yes, the goat note that was wrote. Yes. <laughs> was it, but was it written on a boat? Um, I don't think so. And I can't think of any other rhyming words right now. What can you tell us of Damien? Uh, well, uh, I don't rightly know much about Damien, just that uh, I don't believe he's from the prime material plane of existence I believe that he may be something darker something more nefarious perhaps from the abyss perhaps I'm not for knowing for sure but I have my suspicions hmm what else have you found out in your time in town well it's safer to go about your business during the daytime than it is at night Yes. Uh, many of the folks that are working for Zeus and are under Christopher's commands, they masquerade as druids, but in actuality, they're demons in disguise. And that's part of the trouble, is ah, we're fighting nice. against forces of uh, supernatural means. Aren't we all, though? Aren't we always? So... Who are your friends, though? I know you, Gareth, but uh, I never met these others. <laughs> well, you've met Pooh. Pooh is a good friend. Hello. He's, he's also looking for Christopher for... Oh, yes. Yes, for his reasons. Uh, we oh, have no, Orb... Bog. 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 <laughs> Orbog, who is the, the orc here. Orbog. Hey, good to meet you. Uh, you happen to have a cousin named Jerry. Um, not I that I know I, of, but... Former homicide detective, no? 
Okay. No. Maybe I have it confused with someone else. No. And the little lady is Aelin. Hello, darling. My name is Aelin Sugarbaker. It's so kind to meet your presence. Pleased to be making your acquaintance. Well, if Gareth trusts you, then, uh, and I'd be knowing him to be a man of honor, then uh, the Defiance would be trusting you. But uh, you can't be telling anyone about this meeting or, uh, you know, or that our hideout or one of our hideouts is here at the Yarnan portal. We will do our best to keep your secret. So, hey, Howbog, did you know that there was a secret base? In, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no. How, how can we best help you? Well, there's a couple things we've been working on. You know, I came down this way a couple of years ago. Well, uh, recently, um, over the last couple of years, I moved around a bit. But uh, I came here when I heard about uh, the bugbears getting wiped out. I was doing my best to come down and try to save them. There's a couple of things we're trying to accomplish. Um, one of the things is uh, there's a gate. We don't rightly know where it is, but it's somewhere. And that gate is allowing uh, these quote druids to come through and uh it's bolstering zeaus's forces if we can shut that gate or that door to the abyss in town it'll go a long way to uh, stemming the tide and uh helping us stop zeaus from controlling Waterdeep. well stumblefoot darling i do believe we have found your gate inadvertently oh really indeed are you Would sure that was the gate well, it might have been a window rather than a gate, but it certainly would have led to somewhere where these druids would be from. The other thing we've been trying to do is we've been trying to break the communications between Zeaus and Damien. I know Zeaus is no longer in Waterdeep and that Christopher's running the show, but somehow Zeaus and Damien communicate and they pass on their messages to Christopher. If we can disrupt that communication, then perhaps there's a way that we can win back Christopher. And set him free, or at least set Waterdeep free. Oh, well, that sounds like a great plan. How how certain are you that the bugbears were wiped out? Could they have not been taken to this other plane? Well, not all the bugbears were wiped out. I heard about the genocide and I came down to help, and that's what I was doing before Zeaus take over Waterdeep. I'm just... Who is so certain that Christopher was good and though we were gone for two years it seems still seems like a drastic change for him to just totally turn evil if it, if it wasn't a, totally his will something that I've learned recently is that when you're demon when you're dealing with demons and devils and the like anything can happen they're powerful and they've got evil magics they can control people's minds and bend their wills and depending on which variety you're dealing with, some of them also like to um, force people into unsavory contracts, you know, in exchange for their souls and that sort of thing. But if you're knowing where this gate is, then perhaps that's a good place to start. If we can stem the tide of the forces that are flooding into Waterdeep, well, that would go a long way towards helping us recapture the city. Do you have a way of shutting this gate? Well, I don't know. I thought maybe you did. Oh, we shut it. We opened it, and then we shut it again. Yeah, we we shut a door. Yes, yes it, it was it was just clearly an unlocked door that we encountered. So it p- appears that some magical means might be necessary to permanently, or at least uh, temporarily for a long time, keep this door closed. Um, DM, would I know of somebody who has the means to help us with this? Does does Stumblefoot have any mages or high priests under up his sleeve? <laughs> I will say um, currently the Defiance only has uh, what you would consider as soldiers or fighters at their at your disposal. Okay, not, not very defiant. So well, I don't. 
I don't have any arcane or holy contacts in the city who maybe aren't necessarily part of the defiance, but maybe somebody who we could buy a favor from or you are currently the holy man of the defiance based off of your classes. Oh, good. Well, do (laughs) then in my holy studies over the last couple of years, do I know of a way to shut a a, a portal to the abyssal plane? (laughs) As you do when you're a cleric. I actually have a thought. Um, Orbog, I sent a um, a message to you with that ribbon. Yes. Do you Beautiful still have the ribbon. ribbon? Do you still have the ribbon? Yes. Somewhere. Send Let it back search. to me. Can I just hand it to you? I have to send it? Um, it won't belong to me unless you send it to me. I'm not picking up what you're putting down. Hold the ribbon in your hand. Okay, here's the ribbon in my hand. Tell the ribbon. Hello, go, ribbon. Go to Gareth and say hello from Orbog. Go to Gareth and say hello from Orbog XOXO. <laughs> Can I say a few things too? No. Bother. Does does the ribbon come to me? Yeah, it just flies across, and all of a sudden you hear, "Say hello to Gareth from Orbog XOXO." <laughs> it doesn't pronounce it XOXO or something. No, it 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 literally is just a voice recorder. Got it. That all was right. impressive. It sounded just like him. I know it was kind of uncanny. Um, all right, then I'm going to think for a minute and um. And put together a uh, a message to the keeper. Oh, really? <laughs> That's a good idea. Why who's wouldn't the, I? Who's the keeper? Wow. Who's this keeper you're talking about? See, the keeper. Had plans. <laughs> the keeper is um an acquaintance that we made. Uh, sorry, the keeper is an acquaintance that we made. Um. And he was uh, primarily responsible for us uh, returning to this area two years uh, since we were here last. You might say the keeper kept us. They yes. Kept us a little too long. We were we kept. found him in a bottle. I mean, a, 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 a barrel. He was in a barrel. We think he was drinking. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he was drinking. Oh, Gareth. Great, well, you, could... you know, in the fine dwarven tradition i can't fault him for that oh no and um as a maker of mead i can't fault him for that either gareth maybe you can put a few words a bit in and ask if maybe he could put us back where he took us from in the and, past that is. ask how callum's doing too oh yes i'll see if he could check in on callum for us um i'm not sure if all of that is uh, able to be done with just the limitations that this uh, this gives us. Let me see. 140 characters, huh? 140 characters. Um, hey, here, I'll send this CD to you instead. It does say a message, uh, your message, so I, I guess I can make it any length. Um, how the individual who created this designed it, they didn't specify. So I'm going to say within reason. <laughs> it could Chapter be a book. 99. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right. Um, so I'll just uh, front load it with the information that needs to be given. And um, Oh, no, Steve. You need to say the message to me. I know. I know. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just thinking it through. <laughs> I just don't want it to be like... This is really, really important. I mean, really, 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 really important. I don't want you to miss this. The most important thing, beep, your time is up. Side note to all our listeners out there after doing my research, uh, just so I can save you the heartache, uh, there is not a specific way that uh, Wizards of the Coast say to close a portal. So welcome to the land of homebrew. Anyway, go ahead, Steve. Just super glue, right? <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Keeper, we have need of someone who is able to close a portal. 
this portal seems to lead to the place called the Abyss. If you can help us and are able to, please visit us in Waterdeep. And if you are unable to, please reply. And if you are able to point us in any particular direction to find someone who is able to do this, that would be extremely helpful. Don't forget to ask about the time. I had Callum. I asked about Callum. If you know anything about Callum, please let us know. And we are also a little taken aback by the time delay since uh, we were put back here two years since we were taken by you. Um, perhaps if you could explain a little bit of that. Sincerely, your friend, Gareth Uxis. No, do your saying, do your saying thing at the end. Oh, yes, I'm yes, yes. not going to. He'll not, he won't oh, he's you. He's still doing that litany, that whole speech that, hey, I'm angry and, and, and words of wrath and, and justice here. in my hand and I've got a sword, that whole bit. <laughs> oh, you yes. know it. Oh, I've, heard, I've heard it once or twice, I. <laughs> so you're, you're, se- you're sending it to the keeper? Yes. All right. So after you finish this message, the ribbon wraps up into the form of an origami bird and it flies up and it starts to flap in circles like it's uncertain where to go. Mm -hmm. And then it catches fire. Oh, my. Excellent. Shall I just cross it off my list of items? Oh, that's all. John's in hell. (laughs) Is it supposed to do that? That doesn't look good. No. Is that normal? No. I thought it may uh, it may be confused. I didn't know it would be something that would uh, end its existence. But it was a good try. Um, oddly enough, a couple of moments later, a piece of scroll falls down in front of you and hits the floor. Can Does it hit anybody? Scrollish? Does it hit anybody? No, it it goes to the floor. That's no fun. I pick it well, up. I am rather close to the floor. <laughs> Perhaps she picks it up. So who's picking it up? I'll pick it up. All right. Um, are you going to read it? Is it just simply rolled, or does it have a seal, or? Um, it's just it's just a piece of parchment, just like a piece of scroll paper. Okay, I pick it up. What uh, language is it in? Um, it's just, it's in, it's in common. Okay. I read it to myself. Um, and on it, it just says, uh, it says, seek the loom of time and find the, uh, find the divine tapestry needle. Like I said, needle and thread. (laughs) What did it say? It says, it says, find the loom of time and seek the, the, what he said. What was it again? The divine tapestry needle. Find the loom of time and seek the divine tapestry needle. A, th- a, a loom and a needle? Yes. Anybody know where the loom of time is? Anyway. That sounds like another bar. Uh, perhaps another <laughs> inn? I have never played anywhere called the loom of time. No, I I think it was in that movie Wanted. Oh, what's the movie? Oh, uh, dream I had. <laughs> You'll have to tell me about that sometime. It sounds very interesting. You're a strange fellow, Orbog. Thank you. I try. DM, does Stumblefoot know anything about the Loom of Time or the Needle of... Uh, Roll for it. Thing yeah. thing of the temporal. I don't remember what you said. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead and roll either a history or religion check. Hmm. Can I roll? Um. Yeah. Go ahead. Well, I rolled outstandingly. 
I rolled a seven. Oh, yeah, you've never heard of it before. Yeah. I got a, I got a sixteen. I got a five. I got a rock. Actually, um, wait a minute. What's my? I don't think my modifier would put it much past anything. Steve, if you actually click on your sheet. I know. I just rolled the d twenty on the thing. So. Um, so apparently, Orbog, out of everybody, is the only one who is familiar with this apparatus. I'm telling you, it's in that movie. I I remember the movie. Uh, no, it actually, uh, and it's a little bit surprising that, uh, that, uh, Stumblefoot isn't familiar with it, um, because it is located, um, it is actually located in the Shining Lady's Crystal Throne Room. Oh, dear. oh that clears things up quite a bit. <laughs> That's, it's in the disco place. <laughs> Does she have to polish her throne room? Well... Uh, that's a way embarrassing. I uh, I used to be a follower of the Shining Lady. Yes. Mm. Too much drinking. Well, I mean, you've got me there. My headquarters is in a bar, so... Uh. Eh. Understandable. The, the, the Crystal uh, Showroom... Lady. Well, lady, Cr- lady. Crystal Lady show, Showroom. Shining um, Throne Room. Shining well, yes, Throne Room. That, the Shining Lady's what? Crystal Throne Room is at the Dwarven Fortress um, known as Dragonspear Castle. Oh, yeah, I would feel terrible if I were you. I, yeah, I, it's, I didn't know the Loom of Time was there, though. That's uh, was news to me. It's not yes. like they keep it out front with everything, you know. Hey, <laughs> you, know, you walk through the front door and they're like, oh, this is the Crystal Throne Room. This is the Loom of Time, you know. <laughs> Priceless, powerful artifacts just out here for the taking. Jimmy, don't touch that. Jimmy, don't touch that. <laughs> <laughs> Usually things that, you know, can be used to alter the existence of planes are kind of kept under lock and key. So, I you wonder know, why. there's that. Well, it sounds like we should get going then. How long of a trip is it? Well, he's got a portal here. What? I, well, yes, there's also Darnan's, um teleportation circle. That's near a portal, though. Oh, so we can't use it to get where we need to go i don't know if uh he knows i don't know if his port or his circle of teleportation will link to dragon spear castle darnan does it um i don't know their specific glyph to be able to use to teleport so i mean if i if i if i knew that i could but, um... But didn't you say you used to be there, a dwarf fellow? Well, I was on a... That's where I met Gareth, who was in a pilgrimage to Dragonspear oh. Castle. Oh, well, that was Gareth. That was two years ago. Uh, that doesn't mean that I know the teleportation glyph. I mean, I'm not a wizard. You're not? No. Not oh. at all. Oh, you look rather wizardly. <laughs> Uh, Perhaps it's the beard. Well, if that's your criteria for wizardy, then all dwarves must look like wizards. <laughs> Wait, all dwarves aren't wizards. Uh, no. That sounded mildly racist. <laughs> wow. Oh, we bugbears are not racist. We're just easily confused. Sounds like something a racist would say. <laughs> Perhaps it's more classist. What Perhaps. Now? I can see just fine. I don't need any. <laughs> Is there any way that anybody thinks if we could get a hold of Christopher or something that he could get us to this place? Uh, I don't think you want to be talking to Christopher. Uh, that's a bad idea. He's um, he's he's definitely definitely working for Zeus. Hmm. Oh, but probably not. Um. Of his own free will. Um, because Christopher was such a nice little bugbear. Um, if you don't mind, sir, if I could interject. Uh, you can interject all you want. I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to the boss. I, Darnan. 
Ah, uh, yes, you're, yeah. you're okay. Yeah, you can talk. Uh, speak, speak your mind, friend. Um, I find it kind of weird. Uh, Pooh, your name was, correct? Oh, yes, the one and only. I, I find it kind of odd that uh, you'd be so excited to meet Christopher, uh, being as he's primarily responsible for the, uh, uh, the bugbear genocide. Oh, no, no, that can't be right. Uh, Christopher was taken by um, the, the slavers, and I was trying to rescue him. Uh, no, he, uh, he most definitely led the uh, druids into the northern lands where the uh, house of Sanders was located at, and he uh, slaughtered them mercilessly. Uh, but Cub, there was, there was Cub only a few, Sal. yeah, there was only a few refugees that made it out. I helped who I could, but the Christopher Bugbear that you know is uh, probably not the same Christopher Bugbear that we're dealing with. He seems to have changed for whatever reason. Is not a nice bugbear. Is mean. Oh, but uh, but he was, but he, he was my friend. Maybe he thinks you abandoned him. I didn't. I tried to find him. But you know that, all right? We know Bob, that. Get it? Well, we perhaps know that. perhaps the company that he is keeping uh, has coerced him in a way that uh, he would not have chosen otherwise. We need, we need that room of time. Uh, that's, that's all I can say. We've got, we've got to get back and rescue him before, before any of this happened. We will definitely try to do that, Pooty. Well, if, uh, you know, it's not that far to get down to uh, the Dragonspear Castle. It's a couple of weeks on the road, so... Well, um, you said it was by, uh, just past Dagger Ford, correct? Aye, aye, should oh, well, be we that can far. Get there. We can get there through this fancy uh, teleportation circle, correct? Yeah, I have uh, I have the glyph to an inn in uh, well a place in Daggerford. Because that's how Orbog got here. Yeah, the, the guy on the other end's kind of um, he's kind of strange. Well, have you met us. That is the name of the podcast. Yeah. What's a podcast? Mm. Is it's it like planned. a movie? Stonecast. It's a stonecast. <laughs> it's a no. plant. I've tried casting stones before. I know, it hurts. Um, Gareth, you've fallen in with a strange crowd of people. Well, I fell out with a strange group of people, so... So am I going to send you guys or what? Are you going today or are you going to... I think we'd like to go shopping first and then we can come back later. Dude, I am going to drive a nail <laughs> into my head. <laughs> How many different types of javelins do you have? We don't have any here. This isn't <laughs> in. This isn't a store. Oh, we'll see you later. <laughs> yes, you can send us. Just joshing you a good person thing. We're, we're ready to go right now. Can I jump on top of the... Well, are we near the teleportation circle? No. <laughs> <laughs> is there something circular near, nearby <laughs> the table you're sitting at i jump on top of the table i jump on top of poo <laughs> before we get too involved in all of this jumping on top of each other perhaps it's not working should... i think it's broken perhaps we should take Clutch a long rest because it's been a I few episodes poo, i need poo and orbog to make a dexterity save please yes sir that's your 20 baby uh, that would be a five on my end. Okay. Uh, Somersault. Here's what happens. Um, Only one of us passes through the portal. <laughs> no, uh, the table breaks underneath of you. <gasps> Who, you oh. land on your back. Oh. Orbog, oh. you land on your butt Poo. directly on Pooh's face. <laughs> oh, and Pooh, you take 12 points of damage. <laughs> but <Woo>. damage. <laughs> a stumble foot, oh palms 
his face in his hand. Are we there yet? <laughs> it's dark here. It's very dark. <laughs> uh, again, dark. I'll say perhaps we should rest just a bit because we have not. I am feeling rather faint. <laughs> I'm not I'm for sure. knowing that a rest is going to fix that mess. <laughs> well, no, but it might make it a tiny bit better. Um, yeah, they are a little bit low on damage after doing the jailbreak. Uh, so, uh, Durnan looks at you and goes, well, you're in an inn, so uh, I can supply you the rooms if you're going to be helping out the Defiance. Absolutely. We can you also rest time. once we get to Daggerford. I think I And I... Try to push Orbog off of me. If he hasn't gotten up yet. I get off. Actually, right here is very comfortable. All right, so uh, y'all go ahead and take a long rest. Go ahead and refill your spell slots and or HP. Did the ribbon ever come back, or should I delete that, or... Well, go ahead and take it out of your inventory. Once once you send the ribbon, it's out of your inventory. It, it goes to the inventory of wherever it goes. Right. So, as far as the fate of the ribbon, you don't know. All right. Well, I, I'll, I'm just going to keep it because I don't know what I'm doing there. Um, and then if it comes back, then I'll use it again. But I just won't use it until, until it comes back. Buying food. Buying food? like to take with you or just to eat there both and both <laughs> and all right uh Durnan's able to proc- procure for you uh some j- cured meats Ooh. um <laughs> some nice uh salamis and uh does he have a does he have a wand for that a wand for making salamis uh, a wand of a wand of curing Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's right. That was a, that was an that was an item that you created, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. He pulls out a wand of curing, and all of a sudden, a spread of salami and pastrami and uh, and uh, beef sticks. And and I look over at Orbag. I and told jerky. you he was a wizard. I told you he was no, a wizard. I, no, I told you he was a wizard. Oh. So go ahead and scoop those up, Aelin. And then, and then he makes you all waffles. Is it morning? Making... Is that why he's making waffles? Because it's morning? No, it just seemed like a nice waffles. thing. To do. I think we got the short end of the wand. You haven't lived till you've tried Darnan's waffles. They're quite good. Uh, do you have any honey to put on these waffles? Ask Darnan. He knows where the honey is at. This is his place. Uh, Darnan, uh, do you have any honey? He hands you a jar. Oh, thank you. Oh, Dernan, do you have any more honey? <laughs> he looks at you with a strange look. And he's like, no, no, that was all the honey we have here. Oh, well, that's too bad. I get the impression, Dernan, that you have no more honey. Uh, that would that would be correct. Sounds like this poo fellow has a, uh, quite a sweet tooth. You don't remember the bugbears were like that? This guy. I mean, I try not to generalize. It's rude. I only generalize. It's convenient. So, I'm assuming that you guys have eaten your waffles at this point? Yes. All right. Yes. And so, during Shopping! The- <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> he really wants to. <laughs> It's his running joke. He wants me to drop rocks on his character. Um, uh, so he takes you to his back office where he has his circle of te- teleportation. And he's like, I, c- I can get you as far as uh, Daggerford. So plus I kind of owe this guy anyway, because he, he sent uh, the Orkin man here to uh, my establishment without letting me know what's going on. So, and he, so he kind of waves his hand over this teleportation circle and makes some marks on it, and it begins to glow. And he goes, go now, quick. Go away. Oh, there. Goodbye, Stumblefoot. Goodbye. I'm going with you. Ah, I mean, uh, goodbye, whatever your other person's name there is. Go quick. 
<laughs> I, I, I just like I uh, like try to dive into it. All right. Stumble foot, shuffle slash limps into the circle. All right. Does Ooh. he stumble? <gasps> he kind of the way he walks, it kind of looks like he's stumbling. So, mm-hmm. as you guys pass through the circle, you get this, you get that, you get a feeling of like the air getting sucked out of you and then moving in all directions at once. Oof. And then you come out on the other side and there's kind of a spacey looking, uh, a spacey looking guy on the other, on the other side going, <laughs> uh, you guys are going to be like, uh, where did you come from? <laughs> just, just kill him. It's too early in the morning for this. What? <laughs> we came from the Yannan portal in Waterdeep. Darnan sends his regards. You, you'd think that he'd be nice enough to send me a message. Let me know you're coming. Well, he uh, said the same thing about you. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Welcome to Daggerford. Um, do you have any questions? Can I get you anything? Uh, well, we're trying to get to the Dragon Spear Castle south of here. Southeast, you don't happen to have a teleportation glyph to that location, do you? Oh, no. All right. It's you. I'm, I'm sure maybe you should roll for it. What? Oh, he's... Okay. And he gets roll on, on the ground. Yeah. He, he gets on the ground, starts rolling around. He's, I don't see what this does, but... Uh, it's like having two poos. It is in a, immensely entertaining for us. <laughs> oh, oh, I see what you did. Uh, no, man. I, uh, yeah. So, unless uh, there's anything else I can do for you, then uh, feel free to go. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, we've got a long way to go and a short time to get there. <laughs> I walk out the door and into the town. Oh, and I'm still looking like a bugbear currently. Uh, people, oh. people start to t- turn and stare. Pooh dear, you might want to uh, fix your face. Oh, what's wrong with my face? Do I have honey on it? Well, darling, you still look like a bugbear. I usually look. Oh, oh yes, I see what you mean. Oh, you might want to wait uh, and go somewhere so it just doesn't do it in front of them. That I, might be I, a good idea. I, I panic and just look like a uh, the first, first thing that comes the to first mind. First thing I see. First thing that comes to mind. Just throw it out there, uh, Josiah. Anything. Fish. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> he puts on he puts on his hat and suddenly a giant halibut is walking on its back fin next to you, darling. I think that may cause more of a disturbance. Now somebody is going to try to grill you or fry you. Oh, fry. Do I look funny? You look I like just a fish. Of, oh, that's what I was thinking about. Perhaps I should um think about that. Uh, Can I just uh, roll an investigation to see someone around the town? Is there anyone out? <laughs> yeah, look look exactly like them. I rolled a two. Um, Let's see if this... You see an alley cat. Great. <laughs> you rolled a two, bro. I mean, I don't know yep. what you want from me. <laughs> so <laughs> much for remaining inconspicuous. So now, a, into... now you guys are walking next to a giant cat. Well, I, I try to make it myself look. I, I see the cat that reminds me of tabaxis. So okay. I make myself look, look like a tabaxi I, I knew back in the day. All right, so you 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 have a giant tabaxi walking next to you. Of course. Can I ride on its back? Boy, that portal really messed us up. <laughs> Stumblefoot hey. looks at Gareth. Stumblefoot sighs, and he begins walking slash limping slash shuffling at a fairly quick pace to as to be five or six steps ahead of the rest of the group. <laughs> okay. Also, on the map, I have adjusted the measurements, so it should be a little bit more accurate. Holy. It's a lot farther than he thought. We probably need to find some someone who sells horses. Oh, we know a taxi service. 
That was most unpleasant. <laughs> oh, but Speedy! Is there... You don't have any Defiance connections over here, do you? I don't know, DM, do I? The Defiance it, only exists within Waterdeep, because Waterdeep is where the Defiance is needed. Nope, I sure don't. No, you really need to expand. Um, well, we could go and visit the friends at the church having, again. Having been through Daggerford, would I happen to know where we could procure transportation? The church. The church. Um, It's been a while since you've been in... It's been about two years since you've last been in Daggerford. Okay. Um, so you don't really have any contacts that you'd be able to assess per se. Uh, the rest of your, the people who are on that pilgrimage with you, Mm -hmm. um, that Mm. Gareth was on do have a church that they have started in Daggerford. Well, then we should go there. Yes. Yeah. We remember it's a great place to sleep. (laughs) Well, I have some friends there as well. I'm known. I'm one of them. You you approach the church and Bell is out front. Uh, a tabac- the, the tabaxi Bell is out front and uh, she's kind of washing the windows. Oh, top of the morning, Bell. Oh. Why do my eyes deceive me? But is that... Uh... Limpy foot. <laughs> That's right. Stumble foot. Oh, it's been... It's been a long minute since I've last seen you. How have you been? Oh, I've been well. I've been doing some work up in Waterdeep, but uh, I reconnected with Gareth and his friends, and I kind of point over my shoulder to Gareth and his friends. Oh, Gareth, you're back. Good to see you again, Bell. We're going to wave. You wouldn't happen to know anything about the uh, communion wine being left out in the middle of the sanctuary and seemed to be a lot of Hair, oh, oh, fur, fur hair in it. Oh, no, oh, nothing. There's, nope. Insight check. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead and roll that insight check. Ooh. And Pooh, poo, go ahead and make a deception. Deception. Oh, I'm very good at being deceptive. I only rolled a 13. Lightning strike. Oh, that's a, let's see, uh, 18. Uh, yeah, he seems like he's, uh, he is you you've pretty much ac- accepted at this point that Pooh probably only knows what's going on about half the time. <laughs> <laughs> really? Well, that's not fair. I know what's going on a quarter of the time. <laughs> yes. One four, one over four is bigger than one over two, right? Exactly. Correct. I stroke my beard short uh, quickly and then um, carry on. Uh, we're looking f- to uh, head to the south. Uh, we actually need to go um, to Dragon's, uh, the Dragon Spear Castle. Oh, you're heading back there. Uh, I, ha- there's have you, there's something we need there. Have you turned back to your old faith? No, no. There's um, there's an item of some importance that happens to be there. It's coincidence. Oh, well. I'm not sure if they'll be so kind to allow you access to it. I mean, given that you've renounced that faith, but uh, yeah, I'm I'm sure. Um, let me uh, let me go ahead and put the word out there that you're that you you're in town and that you need a uh, you need uh, horses, and we'll see what we can get for you. Thank you very much. Here, let, just so you have a place to be while you're in town, she unlocks the church, and then I'll be back. And then she goes off. All right. I wonder if I wonder if the communion wine is still in here. And Stumblefoot, if you forget the name, you just start it like you like you know it, and then you kind of mumble a little, and then and then they fill it in for you. That's what I do with um 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 or um or um or um it's not no that's what I do with poo sounds like bad beatboxing and someone choking stumblefoot stumblefoot looks at Orbog and is about to say thank you 
but then watches this exchange, kind of shakes his head and goes inside the church. All right. Um, <laughs> only pray for us. What are the rest- he, and then he immediately starts praying. <laughs> <laughs> what are the rest of you doing? I'm looking for the communion wine again. Oh, jeez. Okay. And... I'm going to go in the church and lay down. Okay. Yeah, or- just following. Or bug. I'm going to go rob some people. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> we will start with uh, uh, Pooh. I'm, go- I'm, I'm going inside the church, too. Okay. I mean, if you want to rob somebody, very, that's completely your... <laughs> a very paladin-y thing to do. <laughs> right? <laughs> Paladinic. <laughs> Um, all right, so Pooh, go ahead and make an investigation check. That would be a uh, net one. Um, you find you find a barrel. Oh, goody! Oh, this is it. <laughs> and I, uh, I'm gonna open it up and just like stick my head in, like I'm gonna. <laughs> Drank some. Oh, okay. Uh, you open it up and jam your head into a barrel of salted fish. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you are what you eat. You are what you eat. <laughs> I, cl- I close it. Uh, to the rest of you, the stank of of uh, fermented fish fills the sanctuary. Mm. And the wine's gone bad. Sanctuary. <laughs> Do you I, have love sm- <laughs> the, I love smoke. the smell of pickled herring in the morning. It smells like victory. <laughs> the stink has clinged to poo. Oh, please. Do you have a magic muzzle? <laughs> Instead of a poo, magic missile. Poo, dear, perhaps you should go take a bath. A, a bath? What's that? It's where you hose yourself down and then you no longer stink. I am going oh. to... I'm going to approach Pooh, and then I'm going to touch him and cast Spare the Dying. <laughs> what? <laughs> nice. Oh, it's that awful smell. I thought he was dying. I thought he was oh. dead. Oh, no, I'm not dead. I'm, I'm oh, quite alive. My I'm mistake. Quite... But don't try the wine here. It's gone bad. <laughs> uh, hey, guys, real quick. I need to step away from my microphone. I'll be okay. right back. Shopping! So, so anyway, my podcast. Nice... Um... <laughs> <laughs> He's left. Quick, take over. <laughs> so, so, so we're doing ring around the rosy when he comes back. Ring around the <laughs> ring around the rosary. Uh, <laughs> Stumblefoot. Stumblefoot takes off his rosary and. <laughs> So let's go rob those people you were talking about, Orbog. <laughs> what did you do today? Oh, you know, nothing much. <laughs> Typical paladin stuff. Defeated some orcs, killed some dragons, and robbed a few people. <laughs> Why would you kill dragons? Still saved a village. Overthrew village a despotic village. ruler. <laughs> mm, the good old days. Nothing says, I love you, like a good old-fashioned robbery. <laughs> Depends on what you're robbing. Oh, Robin, I know a friend, um, a Christopher, in fact. Mm. Didn't see that one coming. Low-hanging fruit. <laughs> cake. Looking through cake? No, low-hanging fruit cake. Oh, okay. What would you just call me, Orbog? <laughs> Nothing. Here, let's look Look at the baptismal. Come here, a little closer. All right, I'm back. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Bring around the rosy. the rosy. Pocket puzz, puzz. What did Can I miss? Can we throw some soap into that baptism? <laughs> uh, Orbog shoved me towards the baptismal. Oh, okay. Um... 
And oh, space. Gareth, Gareth is just going to allow this? What? I think you underestimate the smell of the bugbear. <laughs> I think so, too. Well, sometimes a pool is just a pool. All right. If you... So go ahead and uh, Pooh, what are you gonna are you gonna go into the baptismal or? <laughs> sure, I'm just I'm I'm kind of surprised by Orpog just dragging me off. <laughs> All right, so you go into the baptismal. Uh, uh, what are you doing? Very uh, various salted fish oils come off of Pooh. <laughs> so now the baptismal stinks, but the bugbear <laughs> does no longer. Uh, no, we have wet bugbear smell. <laughs> this is also true. <laughs> Smells a bit like a wet dog. You're telling us. Oh, Aelin, you and your bright ideas. I mean, I will clean the baptismal so it no longer smells like fish if you will dry the bugbear off. The bugbear is very capable of uh, yeah, itself <laughs> off. I, I shake. Hey. I shake. Someone best <laughs> clean out the baptismal. Beth is going to be so upset. Well, I am now wet from bugbear water, so I'll go do it. <laughs> bugbear water. I couldn't think of how what to call it. <laughs> okay, so after you all have cleaned this all out, um, Four the days uh, later. yeah, uh, Belle shows up and she's got uh, she's got uh, four horses. And she goes, well, this is the best I can do on such short notice. But, um, but, uh, yeah, we were able, to, we, the congregation was able to supply. So, um, we hope this will, uh, help your needs. I know there's five of you, but that one there's so small that we figured, uh, she could, uh, share a horse with the other small one. So, well, I don't mind sharing. That's probably, you're not the small one. You're the tallest one. I believe that she's referring to me and Aelin. Oh. Oh, could be me. I'm pretty short. <laughs> um, actually, she, she was referring to Stumblefoot. Uh, Stumblefoot's shorter than you, bro. Oh, okay, that's good. <laughs> I'm so, the middle child. <laughs> what? We thank you very much for these horses. And um, before we go, I must tell you... Does somebody smell fish? Do you have anything you'd like to confess? (laughs) Yes, I'd like to confess that I was walking around your church and I I stumbled across uh, your wine. Again, I mean, not again, but for the first time. It's gone bad. He had his head in a barrel of fish. Oh. Well, I mean, if you want to have some food to take with you, I guess you can take some of that, too. Oh, I no, think no, we're no, okay. No, 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 uh, good, yeah, there's good. no need for that. <laughs> no, no, dear, we are just fine. I All pass right. on potlucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, then go with God. Uh, you as well, good friend. You as well, Bell. Are you... I don't know what to say. I, am, but am you, I... you, you keep being religious, too. <laughs> We're going to go rob some people. See you later. <laughs> you are the worst paladin ever. I'm just saying. Oh, boy. Um, all right. So, are you guys taking off? Sure. Yes. No, we're doing some shopping. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna leave. Um, yes, we're taking off. <laughs> I'm, I'm, leave I'm getting on the horse gold. and leaving. Yes. <laughs> so you guys head south. As you're heading south, traffic seem the foot traffic seems to be. Are there people attached to the feet? No, it's just random feet walking down. Oh my! A strange part of the world this is. In no. Dave. One foot, a two foot. Uh, most most traffic seems to be going north towards Drag- uh, Daggerford. I'll make a footnote of that. <laughs> oh. 
I, I quit. You're, you're, you're welcome. <laughs> you know how to tell when a joke is a dad joke? <laughs> when the answer you're is saying, a you, You're saying you're accepting defeat? <laughs> <laughs> It seems the shoe is on the other foot now. <laughs> I think I am the only non-father of the males in this podcast. That's possible. Uh, had you specified of the males, because I was about to say. <laughs> well, that'd be weird if you were a father. So Just I, a touch. So you guys got about 120 miles to go. So we're just cracking jokes the whole way. What's the... What's, what's, Eric, just offhand, what's the average speed on horseback per day? Um, I want to say it's like 30 to 35 miles, if All right, I remember cool. correctly. So y'all got about four days before you guys are going to get there. Well, we could ride the horses dead. We could. Um, or I don't we know, could name them. I don't know if that would be the best stewardship. <laughs> But yeah, you can no. just revive them, can't you? Yeah, uh, we can just heal them back up, right? <laughs> that would be a horrible thing to do. Eventually, yeah. I feel like they'd revolt. I'm gonna gonna point back to uh, steward the stewardship idea there. So, yeah, Stuart was a good guy. <laughs> I can't. I kind of, in good conscience, abuse the animals. No, we don't do that. Can you in bad conscience? <laughs> it would be in bad conscience, and I don't have a bad conscience, Orbog. Okay, I'm just a joke. I'm trying to keep the mood light, you know. Right, right. Who's, uh, who'd you say was your, uh, your deity again? I don't want to say it, because it'll make him mad. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, right. It's quite a deity. Yeah. I'm Knowledge Rosalba. I'm Knowledge Rosalba. I'm Knowledge Rosalba. Just gonna pull up my guitar on the horse and start playing. <laughs> I'm Knowledge Rosalba. <laughs> All right, so y'all have to make your first camp out of this trip. Who is taking what watch? I'll take first watch. Okay. I'll take last watch. I'll take Orbog's watch. <laughs> <laughs> I can take whichever watch. I'll I'll take whatever watch Gareth is on. Oh, two watches. Which watch has the marshmallows? Have marshmallows been invented in this world yet? I've seen. I've got an idea. It's hey, called Eric, Marshmallow. Yeah. Eric, I want I want to apologize to you for all the even odds jokes that I made to you over the years. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna throw that out. I I, okay. I sincerely apologize. Yeah. See now you now you know my pain. <laughs> well, I guess the question is how many watches do we want to divide the evening into? Three, four. Well, maybe just four, so I can get my beauty sleep. That is important. That is impossible. <sighs> I'm telling your God. <laughs> Mouth speaking only truth. <laughs> oh, there he goes again. Aelin, go ahead and roll a perception check, please. Why is that always on my watch? It's on everybody's watch. watch. You're watching. <laughs> it's perception. Fourteen. All right, uh, you're on your watch. You are looking around, and you don't notice a whole lot going on. Pretty boring night. Oh, good. So your watch goes by uneventful. Who's taking second watch? I'm taking the last watch. I'll take it. Are we going to take it? So... It sounds like Gareth and I are taking second watch. Uh, that was taking the last that, watch. Oh, Gareth and I are taking the last watch. I was about to say, that was Josiah that said, I'll take it. Yep, that was me. Uh, all right, Pooh, I would like you to make a 
I would like you to make a uh, perception check, please. Six. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, eight. Um, actually, for reasons that will that may make sense uh, a little bit in a couple seconds here, go ahead and make that watch with advantage, please. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, much better. 19. All right. You. Changing scenes here for you guys. Oops. You see some, the eyes of some figures walking through the woods. Ooh. And as you look. Do they have feet? As you look closer, they have a very familiar silhouette to them as they are bugbear. Oh, I think I, I think I smell something. Oh, yes. Oh, and that's a, a bugbear. A whole lot of bugbears. Um, who's, who's closest to me? I mean, I guess, where would it, you guys are all sleeping, right? Hopefully. Hi. I'll just hit the, the closest person to me, so it looks like it's it's either gonna there it's Stumblefoot it's, or Gareth. Pretty much. So I just I, I I just reach over and slap I guess Stumblefoot. That would be safer than slapping a, a Dragon Ball. <laughs> so okay. Stumblefoot, you, in a, in the middle of a dead sleep, you get hit. Um. Oh, okay. I guess I will. I mean, you you know reflexes. I guess so. Um, I'll slap back. Okay. So uh, go ahead and roll the, your. If you're coming up out of a sleep, go ahead and roll that attack with disadvantage. Is he gonna hit me or poo? With disadvantage, that would be a 19. Wow. He's, he's, he's going to hit Pooh. Uh, what's yep. the damage on that? Um, that's not much. 46. Uh, Just seven, seven points of bludgeoning damage. It's... Ouch. A stumble foot. A stumble foot. Oh, 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 uh, oh, sorry about that, lad. Oh, sorry for hitting you in the first place. Uh, hey. There's a bit of excitement going on. There's a bugbear in the air. Okay, do do I pick up what he's putting down? Make a perception check. All right. Um, I rolled an 18. Uh, you do see in the darkness, you know how when you're driving down the down, driving down a highway and there's a deer on the side of the road and you can see mm-hmm. their eyes first because their retinas are reflecting the yep. light. The, the, you see a bunch of retinas reflecting the firelight in the woods okay. as they are also, staring. They are watching you. I also have dark vision, so I can see I can see them as if it's dim light for 60 feet. Yeah, then you yeah you see them. Okay. Um, I don't, boy, I don't speak goblin. Um, I do. I will look at, I will look at Pooh and I'll say, I'll, I'll defer to you. I mean, uh, I don't know if, uh, they are part of your same tribe or not. Well, perhaps I will go out and say hello. Uh, I'll go with you, lad. All right. I'll uh, just move uh, move this way, um, and I'll give the traditional bugbear greeting. So, Stumblefoot, you watch as Pooh sticks his arms up and then leans down, uh, goes all the way up, and then comes down and touches his toes. Okay. I will mimic whatever he's doing. You probably know this because you, you you went to I, some of the bugbears. Yeah, I'm. I don't know. I might do. I do. I know the traditional bugbear greeting. 
Uh, make a history check, please. Well, with my history statistic of plus one, I rolled a two. Uh, no. <laughs> no, you do not. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't pick that one up, but uh, I'll, uh, I'll watch what he does and carefully mimic his actions as best I can. Okay. Uh, go ahead and do a performance check, please. Oh, I'm really good at that here. too. No, just just uh, just stumblefoot. Uh, that would be a ten. Uh, you do it well enough. Your accent's a little bit off, but you know. <laughs> um, uh, you get a less than savory response in return. Uh, just a couple of growls and some clenched teeth. I don't know if they're all that friendly. Uh, let me try talking to them. Uh, brothers, it is I, a fellow bugbear of the House of Sanders. You hear some murmuring when they, when you, they hear the... Are you, are you speaking in goblin or are you speaking in common? Uh, goblin. Okay. Uh, you hear some grumbling as you say the House of Sanders... And the chief, the bugbear chief approaches you. And once he gets close, you notice that this is the uh, king of the Bulgar tribe. It's the Bulgar king. Oh. Oh. Um, hello there, uh, king. It, um, uh, it's been a while. I'm glad to see that your tribe is uh, doing well. This is all that remains of my tribe. I fear that I am all that remains of my tribe. Oh, you think so, but the one that you call Christopher still remains. Uh, Yes, I'm trying to um, fix that. Explain to me why I should not take my blood vendetta upon you as well as he well, we are on a secret mission. Uh, me and um. And I, I, I pause to think. I don't want to let him know that there's a lot of other people here. Uh, me and uh, myself and um, uh, my companion here. And uh, we are trying to retrieve an item which might uh, render all of our suffering a uh, mute. Perhaps setting to right what has been wronged against us. He goes, and what item are you speaking of? Uh, well, I, I would probably uh, better not tell you that, uh, just in case. So you expect me to just to take you at your word then? You come into our new territory after... Christopher of the House of Sanders has slaughtered the majority of the tribe of Bulger. And then, after being disrespected by the champion of Sanders not showing up for the challenge, yes, and, then, and then, and then, you just expect me to take you at your word when you march into my new territory with this clearly armed group of what appear to be soldiers. Oh, them, they're just friends. Stumblefoot, during that conversation, there was a moment where you noticed that he is speaking in a rather unkind tone and gestures towards your direction. Um, okay. I am going to, um, jingle my key ring as loudly as I can and hope that it wakes up the group. Okay. Um, I will ask you to make a God, ringing I, check. I know. How, how do I, I mean, performance could work. I was going to say performance, but I didn't, I didn't know if that, yeah, yeah. go ahead and go with performance. performance please. I think performance fits. 
There's a decent roll. That's a 15. All right. Um, so I won't give I won't give them a disadvantage on their perception checks. I'd like them I mean, to sleep. If they're asleep, this could be covered under passive perception technically too. So. Um. Okay. Uh, what's everybody's passive perception that's sleeping currently? Fourteen. Mine is. It's going to be underneath your charisma score. Oh, is it now? Passive then. perception is listed underneath your skills. So. Oh, I thought it was underneath the charisma. It's directly below the the skills on the character sheet on the left hand side. Okay. Yeah. Why can't everything be in the same place? Eleven. It's too easy. Eleven for me. Okay. Or okay. okay. So yeah, all three of you hear a jingling coming from the woods to the south uh, as they wake you up. I don't want to go to school. <laughs> what is happening? Did everyone wake up? Yeah. His oh. his performance beat your guys' uh, uh, passive perception scores. So. Interesting. <clears throat> Where are the watchers? Where's Stumblefoot? You, you hear some voices to the south. I look to the south. Does he have dark vision? No, he doesn't, does he? He, he no, does no. not. I don't believe Aelin does. Nope. I can't well, see anything. I do. Gareth, do you have dark vision? No. I can't remember. Not, no. not Gareth. Uh, um, Orbog. Yes. Okay. I say Orbog should. Um, Dragonborn and Halflings do not. Okay. So, uh, Orbog, as you look to the south, you do see uh, kind of like it, like in dim light, you see um, a, ton, uh, a bunch of bugbears and uh, the silhouette of Stumblefoot. Uh, I'm going to cautiously tell them what's going on from what I think. Um, the Pooh and Stumblefoot are talking to some bugbears, or what appears to be bugbears. We should probably go over there cautiously. I'm going to stealth over there. Okay, go ahead and make a stealth check, please. Sniper! All right. <laughs> uh, so you uh, try to stealth over there, and uh, you trip over the fire pit. Oh, goody. Still asleep. <laughs> I'm going to walk non-threateningly over there. Steve is trying to befriend a dog. Yes. We're impressive. Me and him. <laughs> Look at me. I'm impressive. Impressively non-threatening. All right. So uh, y'all start to non-threateningly saunter your way south. So, as I was saying, um, we are looking for an item that could perhaps rewrite time. You see, I would have been there. And I would have helped, but I got brought forward. I used to be back, but now I'm here. He, the the Bulger King looks at you very confused. Uh, I understand. The words are not always the very best way of talking. He He, he goes, you need to tell me what this item is. We're looking for something that can close the you don't, portal. That, you don't understand them. They're speaking in goblin. Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> that, uh, can I trust you not to do anything rash, Mr. King? You're not in a position to be bar bargaining right now at this juncture. You're in well, my territory. I have you dead to rights. Stumblefoot starts rolling his shoulders and cracks his knuckles and kind of pops his neck. Oh. I suppose uh, that uh, you are correct. Uh, this is not uh, my uh, territory. And I do 
I do need to give you some measure of respect. So I will tell you in confidence that we are looking for a loom of time. Time, time, time. <laughs> okay. Uh, go ahead and make a persuasion check, please. Roger that. Uh, 12. That's a solid 12. 12, 12, 12. <laughs> He looks at you. And he goes, very well. You may pass through these woods, but don't linger any longer than you have to. The House of Sanders is not welcome here. And he gestures to the rest of the bugbears, and they begin to walk off into the woods. I turn to the others and say, oh, we need to get going. They don't want to join us? No, uh, they happen to be a rival tribe to my own. The last of their kind, as as I am the last of my kin. Uh, Can we at least finish uh, sleeping? I think it would be best if we continue at least to a different part of the woods. They seem rather anxious to have us out of their hair. Can we, can we ask where their borders are? Like, how far is out of their territory? I assume away from here. Oh, Pooh. You can smell. I can smell. It's this. So I will I will just... Um, Follow me. I'll lead them away to, to the areas that aren't marked uh, as... Um, the is it burger no uh, <laughs> bulger 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 king that's nasty oh well, not about you all but i'm tired only got a couple hours of sleep then i was fixing for a fight and i didn't get a fight well i'm always up for a fight although the last person that i fought in a friendly fight well We'll just not talk about that. He killed them. Shh, I said we weren't going to talk about that. It's not a very friendly fight if you're killing folks. Well, I wasn't... I'm not the brightest bear in the drawer. You don't say. All right, I, 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 I leave the rest of them away from... Um, all where right. I smell. Do, do you need me to roll perception? No. Or? No. Okay. This, this is Out this of... is this is instinct for you. So. Okay. Um, I rule. You lead you lead them about five more miles towards the south. Okay. And uh, I say. Oh, this this should be good. If you would uh, want to continue resting, I think we should be undisturbed here. It sounds like you're already all asleep. <laughs> yeah, you you turn around and everybody's already asleep. So I'll continue my watch until it's up then. All right, so you continue your watch. Uh, who has third watch? How many watches were we doing? We were doing four, so I think Aylin was going to do third watch, and you and I were okay. going to do fourth watch. All right. I thought I did first watch. She, she did first watch. Oh, Orbog was going to. I don't know. I, don't I, know can, do, I can do. I'm new third here. Watch. I don't, I don't know. Orbog's got third watch. I'll do third watch. All right, Orbog, go ahead and make. Go um, ahead no, and. I'm actually sleeping. I'm not really going to do the third. Oh, shoot. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Don't give no. me a gift <laughs> like that. <laughs> nice. Okay. What am I rolling? A perception check. Um, apocalypse check is nine. A perception check is nine. Okay. Um, yeah, you don't particularly notice anything. You see a cloud. The shape of a cow as it's going past the moon. You're enthralled by it. Ooh. No. And I don't see anything else. Nope. Not a whole lot going on. Pretty boring night. Your watch is up. Nothing really happens. Fourth watch was going to be Stumblefoot and Gareth. Yep. Yeah. All right. Do we both roll? 
I will say one of you roll with advantage. And what are we rolling on? Perception. Uh, let's see. My perception's pretty okay. My perception is not. So why don't well, you roll I'm, on yours? All right, why don't I roll? Ooh, good thing I had advantage. Um, that would be a twenty-one. All right. You watch as a uh, you watch a uh, like a herd of like three owl bears walk by in the distance. Okay. And then, and then um, you also notice some glowing figures. Glowing figures. Mm -hmm. What kind? What kind of figures? Like humanoid figures? Yeah. Okay. How? Way way out in the distance, though. Way out there. Glowing? How? Like like bioluminescent glowing, or like holy aura white light glowing? Um. Or evil aura. Yeah. (laughs) Or evil aura red glowing. Is it? Is it red? What color is the glow? <laughs> it, it it is it is a red glow. Oh, it's Vader. It's Vader. Okay. Um. It, I, like, like, are we talking like a hundred yards or a mile away? Or probably like, about a mile away. Uh, I'm not even gonna sweat it. Well, we'll let unless it starts getting closer. I'm not gonna. I'll point it out to Gareth, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna raise the alarm. What do you think they are? Oh, it could be any manner of things. It's probably nothing good. <laughs> All right. We'll let them pass. Well, you know, being as how uh, time is of the essence, I don't feel like picking a fate with something like that. Wise. So, two years, huh? Two years. Yes. And it seemed to go by in a flash. Interesting. Uh, you hardly look like you've aged a day. Like I said, it seemed as though it was much quicker than two years. I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. Well, sounds like you've been on quite the adventure since we last spoke. It has been quite a quite a thing with these with these people. Um, it has been quite out of the ordinary. <laughs> My journey to uh, to uh, deep water deep. <laughs> My journey to water deep was uh, much more. Uh, let's shall we say linear. Um, and since water deep, it has been uh, chaotic. Sure. So, what's your take on this bunch? I believe they are well-meaning, although wildly <laughs> misguided at some points. So I find myself um, sort of the voice of conscience sometimes with them. Have you tried giving them uh, a copy of the West Book of the Dead? I have talked with a few of them about it um, in, in parts. Uh, but it never seems like we get to a point where we have a good time to discuss discuss it in full. So, yes, uh, Pooh was very distraught about uh, situations that were happening when we were at the church the first time. Hey. And, uh, and I was able to speak with him about it and, and show him the book. Well, I was sad to hear that uh, Christopher is one of us kin, a... Uh... He's not a good bugbear anymore. If he ever was, I'd, I'm not for knowing. But uh, now, he's in. As far as I can tell, he's in league with the devil. Right, but it also could be that his brain has been touched by an evil entity, and is now on a course that it normally would not have taken. Tis true, such a thing is possible. So, I guess, here's for holding out hope for redemption, right? Well, if you know anything about me, I err on the side of hope and mercy. That I do. So, how about you? How did you get involved in the things going on 
at Waterdeep. Why did you jump in? Well, uh, after you departed, uh, several of us, uh, after we parted ways, several of us uh, poured over the uh, the book you left with us. And, well, we found that, you know, after our discussions with you, that we couldn't ignore the truth that was sitting in front of our eyes. And we converted. And uh, I left behind me old ways. Uh, I, and I quit following the shining lady i'm no longer a monk of her service and instead entered into uh the service as a clergyman for the christ god Excellent. and so we came down to daggerford and started the church and while i was there i uh, we heard about the plight of uh the bugbears the genocide and so we mounted a uh, mission of mercy and i ended up in Waterdeep, getting mixed up in local politics, as you do, <laughs> apparently. Well, local, all politics is local politics, so, or so I've heard. Well, the way I see it, I'm trying to fight what appears to be um, one of the ultimate forces of evil, and uh, and standing up for good and righteous, good and righteousness is what we should be doing, so... Here I am. Well, I'm very glad to hear that we've been able to cross paths again in this good manner. This is a, um, it warms my heart that I have been able to affect other people's lives in a positive way. And now that we are working together, um, it is, it is, it's one of those things where the, you can sense a greater whole when people like us are together. Um, something that you don't feel even with good friends like the ones uh, I have here. You talk too much. I missed you too, Gareth. <laughs> oh, you know what I mean. I just, uh, when someone's beating around the bush, I just like to get straight to the point. I missed you too. I missed everyone. Well, You've been a subject of conversation, a topic of conversation now and then. We all owe you a great deal for uh, showing us the light. I'm very glad that I have been able to be instrumental in that. But, uh, you know, old habits stay hard. I am looking to mix it up with uh, some of these bad guys a little <laughs> bit. Well, I don't want to mix it up uh, just for the sake of mixing it up but to oh me neither but uh i wouldn't mind busting a devil's skull or two you know <laughs> punching a demon in the face that's a good time that's always a good a good reason for that yes well it looks like the sun's <laughs> looks like the sun's coming up maybe we should wake these uh we, maybe we should wake these uh these these sleepy heads sleeping beauty and the the four dwarves over here up and Get about our business. I think I'm sleeping beauty. <laughs> You're sleeping something. All right. So, Don comes. Y'all are able to procure breakfast from the assortment of cured meats that were provided to you by uh, Dernan. And the day is yours. I'm assuming you're heading south still. I had bacon with a side of bacon. <laughs> mm, that sounds too. like... That sounds like the Campagno thing to do. Oh, hi. So y'all head south. Um, and uh, as uh, the further south you go, you guys notice that uh, you're seeing less and less foot traffic along the road. Hmm. Is that normal? Is it, um, is it from, when you, from when you left, uh, there, it, this, the, this part of the road used to be a lot more busy. So over the past two years, uh, you're not sure you're not certain if this part is normal for it to be this bit, this unoccupied at this time, because um, you haven't been down here for quite some time. But uh, from what from what you know from being here, it didn't used to be like this. Traffic seems light. We should be seeing more folks on the road. Did you see anything interesting last night? Oh, you know, um, a few owl bears, and then something off in the distance that was red and glowy and seemed kind of evil and scary. But yeah, nothing, nothing else. No. 
Was you it didn't... heading in the direction we were going? No. Was it? I don't even know. I couldn't. I I don't have night vision, so I, I don't know if I saw the same thing as I, as you did. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> I don't know. Was it in the direction we were headed? Was it the southeast, um, Mr. DM? It was. It was in the southeast. As far as which direction it was going, it's hard to discern that, given how yeah. far away it was. Yeah. Yeah. Roll for discernment. <laughs> I'd like you to roll a discernment check, please. Okay, sure. Um, a natural twenty. No joke. <laughs> Wow, I was kidding, but being as you roll a nat 20, I don't want you to, uh, I don't want to lose that for you. So, uh, yeah, you were able to discern that, yes, it was, in fact, heading in the direction of uh, of uh, Dragon Spear. Dragon Spear. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, run! Like Everybody it, run! Hurry! Seemed like it could have been heading in the same way we are, so maybe we should keep our, uh, our eyes peeled for trouble. I'm always... Looking for trouble. I'm always peeling my eyes. I was waiting for somebody to say that. <laughs> Sounds uncomfortable. Aiden, hey, you wouldn't know any good songs, would you? Oh, I can play a little bit of my guitar. Are we not worried about them beating us to the loom of time? Oh, we're traveling. And there's not much else we can do. We can find faster travel are you in he's just on riding on the horse behind you well i mean we could pick up the pace and ride our horses harder but uh, uh you know i imagine the horses will outpace them anyway if we get this loom of time which i believe we shall my thinking is correct that at this time won't be the time and that it uh, will be back before this time and so the time that it takes us to get there uh, won't be any time at all but if they get there first then their time will be before our time and they can undo the time and redo the time so I have a quick question Gareth how often is Pooh's thinking correct um, I'll let you know when that happens. <laughs> Great. Maybe we should ride faster. <laughs> Aileen, can't... play something snappy. Aileen, can you talk to animals? Well, of course I can. You know I can. Wait, no. No. No, I can't. Uh, I can talk to plants. Uh, I can talk to animals. Oh, you can? Can you ask them... If, if they're holding back, if they're like really Pegasus or something. I can make them my friends. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, you speak with animal spell only as ritual. Uh, I mean, I can. <laughs> you can do it. It just takes 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Can I do it while riding a horse? Um... Who's is it pretty con- smart? <laughs> no, he's not. Um, can I? Uh, is it concentration? That's what I'm looking up. It's a. Uh, uh, no, it's ritual. It doesn't say it's concentration. Ten minutes. Yeah. What are the spell components? Uh, it is a V and an S. So verbal and somatic. Yeah. So I should be I should be good, as long as I don't get bumped or say the wrong words while I'm writing. So say the you say the right words and make the right motions. Yep. So while I'm do riding the, my horse, do the flappy bird wings with your hand. <laughs> he has to do the chicken dance for ten minutes. <laughs> So I do that for 10 minutes, and then I um, try to talk to my horse. Oh, Mr. Horse. Oh, Mr. Horse. Yes? 
Hello. A good day from you. How are you doing? Um, I'm being ridden. It's a little bit, um, it's, it, it's a humbling experience. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, I can imagine. Um, are you feeling tired or anything? Could I get you a, uh, a small smack roll of something? Um, you could, uh, get, um, you could get, uh, off my back. That. Well, uh, that's a that, that's a nice idea and all, uh, but we are in a bit of a hurry. Um, you wouldn't happen to have any wings? Do you happen you? to Do you happen to know how heavy you are? I mean, in 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 reality. Yes, yes, I think I I can pull that up. <laughs> <laughs> he said without totally metagaming. <laughs> Like Orbog hasn't been. <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't actually know how much I weigh. Uh, a lot. <laughs> no, I, 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 I wasn't looking for an actual amount. I, 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 just, I know. It was a rhetorical question. You know, but you are a heavy, heavy. Yes. Dude. I weighed just the right amount for a healthy, growing bugbear boy. I mean, I, did you need something, or or is this is there a point yes, to this? Yes, I was wondering if we could um go a little faster, if that would be a too you, much. You you have got to be killing, kidding. <laughs> So you're, lucky, you're lucky I'm going this fast. I mean, I'm a horse. And yes, yes, I'm aware of that. I, I, I have met, I have met horses larger than me that weigh less than you. <laughs> horses <laughs> larger than me that weigh less than you. Yeah. Uh, are you calling me fat? I'm calling you heavy. <laughs> Don't hit the horse. Oh, well. Oh, Bog. My horse is kind of grumpy. <laughs> uh, Mr. Orbog's horse. <laughs> yes. How 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 are you doing? I'm fantastic. I, in fact, you could say I'm super. Thanks for asking. Oh, good, good here. But you have a much friendlier horse, Orbog. That does, because I only weigh 100 pounds, and I'm <laughs> only 5'3". Well, a horse is a horse. Of course. Of course, of course. No one can talk to a horse. Except for poo. <laughs> I feel like there's a song in there somewhere. I don't know. I hope he doesn't kill it because, you know, a horse's corpse is a corpse, of course. And no one can talk to a corpse, of course. <laughs> no, he of can course, bring the name of that corpse is the famous Mr. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Otherwise known as the necromancer. There you go. Man, I should have brought my uh, hip waders because it's getting thick in here. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yes. Uh, how can I help you? Oh, no. Oh. But do you have any wings? Orbog was wondering. That's that's the guy who's on top of you right now. Uh, no. D d does it look like I have wings? Well, per perhaps we if I had some Red Bull. <laughs> <laughs> but you're a horse, not a bull. Yes. Anyway, this you have any oats? Oats, um... I have a little bit of honey. That is not oats. We have some cured meat. <laughs> well, the horses seem to be thinking that we are going fast enough. Oh, sure. Yeah, the world goes to heck and that. <laughs> they also called me fat, so... <laughs> I mean, uh, if the horseshoe fits. 
they were a little more friendly than the grass we talked to and the shrubbery. My concern is that they're going to get there and either take the loom first or destroy it. Have you all never ridden horses before? I'm saying, can we get on something faster? Um, Stumblefoot looks over his shoulder to Aelin and he says, hold on tight, lass. And, oh, uh, dear Lord. and he spurs his horse to go faster. All right. Um, Aelin, please make a dexterity save. Yay. So this, this, the dexterity is a 16. Oh, oh, okay. I thought that was an older one. Uh, yeah, you you almost fall off the back of the horse, but you manage to grab onto a piece of uh, Stumblefoot's uh, robe and steady yourself. Do I manage to keep a hold of my guitar I've been playing? Um, yeah, with that deck save, I'll say that you just barely happen to catch it by the headstock. This is good, because somebody would not have had a headstock had I lost my guitar. Don't look at me. So the rest of you notice that Stumblefoot, and the horse that Stumblefoot and Aelin is on goes faster after he spurred it. Oh, look, we can kick our horses, too. I don't think mine's going to go much faster. I, I try to, like, hit, hit it to make it go faster. You hear him go, ugh, and then he starts mm. to kind of gimp along faster. <laughs> oh, well, that worked quite well. Thank you, horse. Die in a fire. <laughs> <laughs> so you got you guys move further along that day. Uh, you managed to shave off by driving your horses hard. You managed to shave off about a half a day off of the journey. Um, well, we said we needed glue to close the portal, right? Oh, wow. Ooh. Ooh. Awesome. Wow. Getting getting dark. <laughs> wow. All right. So I'm not gonna do per, I'm not gonna do perception checks all the way down to the thing because that's not fun. Uh so next morning comes, y'all hit your horses again. So uh basically what we can do is we can ride without riding our horses in the ground, we can travel fast. Um but, you know, we aren't able to make perception checks while we're traveling. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, we can travel basically at three quarter speed rather than full speed. That way we don't kill our horses. Sounds like a plan. Says the one who wanted to make glue out of them. <laughs> no, that was just a, a joke. Like the funny kind, only different. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bug, I think that's all. Your jokes. You guys make your way outside up to the uh, castle. And when you get there, you notice that the towers have been, some of the towers have been collapsed and it looks pretty abandoned. Oh. Son of a bugbear. <clears throat> it wasn't like this two years ago. This isn't a good. Oh, this looks, or rather, like a bad omen. Hey, you can see that again. Can we see oh, this anyone? This looks rather like a bad omen. <clears throat> yeah. Don't ask him to knock on anything. <laughs> <laughs> I I see he's a literal fellow. Oh, what other sort of fellow would it be? One who takes things literally. But I don't usually try to take things without asking. Uh, duly noted. By the so, way, uh, do you have any more of those cured meats? I mean, Darnan gave some to everyone, so I, yeah, I'm, I'm sure we do. I eat all of mine. <laughs> Aren't you thirsty, lad? That's a lot of salt. The bugbears uh, have a very active saliva glands. That's kind of gross. <laughs> you guys are literally 
you guys are literally outside of the place you've been traveling to for four days. You're discussing <laughs> your meats and salivary glands. <laughs> All right. Sorry, I, 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 have I assume we're, we're having and... this conversation while we're talking. We're not just standing here having a re- you know crazy inane conversation. No, we're standing. We're standing. And, yeah, we mostly just stand. And and we've been waiting for the map to come up, so you know. It's well, the end. It's the end of the episode. We're just waiting for a, a good moment for the. I'm waiting for you guys to tell me what you want to do. We want to win. Who go well, knock on the door? <laughs> um. Oh that old bug. I guess since Stumblefoot has been here before, he'll head in towards the areas he's familiar with. So, okay. Um, right in. You... Does he knock on the door with his head or with his fist? I told him I misremembered that. I told him he, he to do it with his fist now. I don't know if he'll remember that. <laughs> I'll roll a history check next time I try to knock on something. Okay, well, you knock you knock on the front door and it falls down. Oh. <laughs> knock gentler. It doesn't seem like anybody's home. Who's there? All right, well, Stumblefoot's going to try to find a place to uh, tie down his horse and um, start looking around carefully poking around carefully in the uh the main chamber there to see if i can find any clues i did not tie down my horse neat bye bye horse so Pooh gets off his horse that hated him riding him because he was so heavy and the horse immediately runs off whoops well, you don't have much experience with horses there, do you, lad? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, mm. Bugbears are usually a very much uh, a homebodies. I'd like Erwan to make a perception check, please. Oh, goody. 21. Oh, I'm right up there with you. I got a six. Nine. 17, but my passive is 18. So, I'm working uh, on it. All right. Um, Stumblefoot and Aelin, you guys hear a sound of rustling coming from a crumbled, uh, a, a crumbled tower that used to be a part of the castle. I look at Stumblefoot. Did you hear that? I did hear that. Do you have any idea what that could be? Um, what what kind of rustling? Like rocks tumbling or like bushes rocks rustling? Fall, we all die. Um, it's the sound of something rummaging. It's it's distinctive rummaging. Hey, sounds like someone's digging around over there. Perhaps um, we should check that out. I would like to sneak over there and check it out. All right, go ahead and roll a stealth check, please. Yeah, 15. 15? All right. Um, yeah, I didn't roll very high. You hear something go, huh? I will stop. You hear a kind of a sniffing and rooting sound, like almost a- animal-esque, like it's trying to s- sniff out something. Okay. Was I able to get any closer? Can I see what's going on? Um, well, who at all, is anybody else following Stumblefoot? Or nah? Sure, I'll follow him. Okay, um, are you stealthing? I mean, if he looks I'm like he is, st- then I am. I'm All right, go ahead. stealth behind him. Go ahead and roll stealth with your disadvantage for your armor, please. Oh, I forgot to roll disadvantage for my stealth check, too, because of my keychain. Oh, that's right, because you got that. Yeah. I forgot about that. So my stealth actually would have been an 8 instead of a 15. Well, you still, di- you still didn't pass. Yeah. You, you, wow. Yeah. 
I know, but I'm just trying to be honest. What did you get, Aelin? I rolled 16. Okay, yeah, you didn't. Yeah, so. Um, and Orba. So, yeah, y'all yeah. failed the stealth to check. I don't even need you to roll. Uh, Gareth and Pooh, are you following too? I'm by the door that I knocked down still. Okay. It's I'm not gonna. I'm hard. not gonna follow. You're not. So you're gonna no, hang out. With Pooh? It's just. It's just folly. Yeah. <laughs> just <laughs> stay where I am and try to be quiet. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna shift the map here. So whatever you see, are able to see, you see. I don't know what you guys see where you're at. We see everything. Oh, you do see everything? Yeah, we see everything. I wasn't sure if dynamic lighting was on on here. Sure isn't. Not. Not on. All right. Well, I see a lot of of problems. I will say that... uh, They're friends. (laughs) Well, yes. Nope. Go give them a hug. Um, (laughs) You see a... uh, rather large uh, horned creature that has uh, sort of humanoid hands as well as another set of arms that have like lobster-esque claws on it and dragon style feet. Mm. And then you also see another being that looks kind of like a giant white mole with a bat face. Am I able to I am I able to identify any of these creatures? Uh, go ahead and make a well, that wouldn't be a nature check because they aren't natural. It'd be probably religion or arcana. Yeah. yeah, let's go ahead and go with religion. Oh, I rolled well. Um, twenty two. Uh, the large the large uh, horned creature is a glabrezu. Uh, mm hmm. And the smaller mole type creatures are called Drek. Or okay. Dretch. Dretch, yeah. Well, aren't they a special kind of lovely? Uh, those are from the Abyss. That's where Cthulhu is from. I feel like we need to handle this situation. <laughs> Cthulhu? What? Don't, don't be Cthulhu ish. <laughs> Well, um, I think we're in for a fate here, kids. We can just leave and no one would be any the wiser. Can we, can we hear them or do, are they, are we still out of it? Who are you trying to hear? <laughs> <laughs> the, the stealthy people, the people who are probably trying to be as quiet as possible. Make a, make a perception check with disadvantage. Uh, that you rolled a six, so that's going to be uh, no. You didn't. You you don't hear them. You can kind of hear them mumbling, but you can't make out what they're saying. Okay. Oh well, Gareth, I don't think there's anyone in here. Well, let's wait until they return. They may have found something that we can't see. Where are the others? They have snuck off. Oh, is oh, snuck a know. word? Sneaked. S- snuck. They have snuck. They, they've, they've snickered. No. They, you are going to make Eric's skin crawl off his body. <laughs> <laughs> Sniped, I think is the word you're looking for. They've snicked. <laughs> they've snicked. Irregardless. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we need, we need to warn the others. Kaka, kaka. <laughs> You hear Orbog talking about Kaka. Yes. As per usual. He's calling for me. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. That's a good one. <laughs> okay, we win. Yeah. What's next? We win. Yeah. You guys got to tell me what you're doing. You, everyone's at a standstill right now. Um. I'm going, so Stumblefoot's going to turn and look at Orbog and Aelin and say, should we sneak back or should we just call them over and go for it? Have you ever seen a bugbear sneak? I'm pretty sneaky. Um, 
<laughs> We're not sneaking very well either. Well, that I is can, true. I can't rightly say that I have. Actually, that, bugbears are really sneaky. I feel like they wouldn't be, though, because they're so big. Maybe we just talk real loud and they'll get the idea. They have very soft pads on their feet, you know. Kind of. To like be pads. fair, you did have you did have an entire tribe of bugbear sneak up on you guys while you were camping. So I mean, um, that's true. I think you are underestimating their sneakiness. They're very very sneaky. I'm going to try to sneak up with the rest of the guys. Go ahead and roll me a stealth check. Hopefully, I do better than I have been tonight. Uh, 17. All right. You feel pretty darn sneaky. Hello. Gareth, are you hanging out? Hello. I'm just, I'm just going to hang out. I I never sneak well, so <laughs> all I'd be doing is ruining. Neither whatever. do we, so join <laughs> the club. <laughs> <laughs> you usually do, so uh, Actually, I don't want to. Um, has Gareth abandoned us again? I'm going to, I'm going to, before, before, as I'm on my way to sneak over there, I see that um, Gareth isn't following us. Gareth, Gareth, you should come uh, with, uh, with me. I'm not a good sneaker, so why don't you go and sneak over there and then have someone either signal me or return back to me? Kaka, kaka. <laughs> I just I'm not very comfortable leaving people behind. Hoot, hoot, it never hoot. turns out well for me. I understand, but if anything comes up behind me, I'll run up to you. Okay, just don't uh, go anywhere I can't see you. You've got it. You're a lady who <laughs> Uh, right. Shocker. Well, I'm going to point out the uh, demons over in the ruins. Oh, it looks like we're going to have some fun. I call the big one. I say we try to take out the little ones first before we take out the big one. I'm with her. Oh, well, there are three little ones and four of us, if I'm counting correctly. You are. Sounds like you could get you to think... four. That's good. Good counting. Uh, can we take him out one by one? Uh, or maybe we should team up and do two on one at a time. I want to try to create a diversion. So I'm going to pick up a rock. Okay. And I'm going to try and throw it over in this area to try and lure this dretch out to us. So I want to lure the dretch out of the ruins so that we can maybe try and separate it from the rest of of the group that's off to the east. This is new. We have someone who does tactics. Okay. We have someone who does directions. Just look and <laughs> just watch. Watch and learn. Watch and learn. <laughs> All right. Uh, go ahead and roll that. Uh, we'll, we'll call that a uh, improvised weapon. Well, yeah, okay. Could be a monk weapon. <laughs> Can it? Sure. Why not? <laughs> I feel like you're trying to BS me here, Eric. Um, okay. Uh, so if it's an improvised weapon, I just roll my dexterity. I roll d20 plus my dex. I don't add my proficiency bonus, right? Right. Okay, so that would be a 22. All right, so... This dretch starts to wander over here to find the source of its source of the noise it just heard. Okay. You hear a little bleep, and all of a sudden there's a uh, ex- exclamation point over its head. <laughs> Break! All right. I'm gonna charge. All right. I'll let you get one sneak. This will be one surprise round, and then we're rolling initiative. Okay. Um, I would like I would like to do this I was I was wanting to run over with him too so um 
I want to hit uh, as I approach him, my fists start to glow with radiant energy, and I'm going to hit him in the face with my glowing fists. All right. Um, and so my attack rolls, uh, as I get two attacks, are going to be um, a 17 and a 26 to hit. Oh, I can tell you that 26 is going to hit. Let me take a look. Yeah, 17 is going to hit, too. Okay. So the damage type, instead of bludgeoning, is going to be radiant. Um, okay. And uh, it's actually the same die, die type, so it's still going to be a D4 per attack. So, And I burn a key point doing this. Okay. Um, so it's going to be... Uh, six, twelve points of radiant damage. All right. Can I see what they can see at all? Um, right now you just you you watch what you saw, Gareth was you saw you saw Stumblefoot pick up a rock and throw it to the opposite corner of a wall, and then all of a sudden they all ran over. Everybody ran over there. Okay. You you don't see. The mon the the thing that they ran over to. Okay, I'm just gonna be slowly moving over. You'll see my guy sort of just like move over a little bit. Okay. Um, little bits by little bits. Sort yeah. of drifting. I'm a high plains drifter. Well, you're starting to walk into a pond. It's gonna ask if Why, it's water. No, I won't. I won't do that. I won't walk into the pond. Well, he can walk on the water. <laughs> Um, I could walk on water. Easy, Eddie Money. We can't license that. <laughs> um, sorry, it was less. It was less than ten seconds. We're fine. That's right. All I'm right. So much, that was your surprise round, Stumblefoot. We's going to roll us some um, initiative as soon as I can clear off the tracker. Remove all turns. Clear. All right. Roll me some initiatives, please. Um, Aileen, it is your turn. Hey. Um, am I far enough away that I can hit him with my crossbow? Um, what is your crossbow? You're you're not within melee, so I'm going to say yes. All right. 13 will hit. Yes. Four. Four. All right. So you tag this thing right in the face. Actually, you caught it right in the mouth, right when it's turning around to say something to its brethren. Gareth. I am going to move. All right. So I'll, how many spaces can I go? Six. What's your speed? Um, let's see. My speed is 30. Yeah, so then six, six. six squares. All right. So I can walk on water. So one, no, I'm just joking. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Poo. Oh, boy. <clears throat> Are you ready for this? Right, I'm just going to go at this guy here with my axe. All right. Oops, sorry. Oh, man, that's disappointing. Uh, it is 11. 11 hits. Okay. Um, wow. That will do uh, six damage. Not a great, great X. Uh, well, you managed to, you, oh, so Pooh, as this, as you watch an arrow sprout from this thing's mouth before it can say anything to its brethren that are behind the walls there, um, you bring your axe down and you plant it six inches into the skull of this thing and it crumbles to dust. Perfect. And One so down. six to go. So Stumble, Stumblefoot is going to hold his finger up to his lips to try and get everybody to be quiet. You hear a guttural voice say something in a language you don't you probably don't understand. But maybe we do. 
Do any of you speak Abyssal? No. Um, that's a negative ghostwriter. <laughs> so, yeah, he says something in a language you don't understand. And that is actually where we're going to end it for tonight because JS has to end in 10. It has to end exactly at uh, 8 my time, which is going to be 11 his time. Yes. Uh, so, and there is no way this fight's going to be done in eight minutes. So, um, you underestimate the power of the poo. You underestimate, yeah. you underestimate how difficult a uh, Glabrezu is. So, I <laughs> don't. <laughs> <laughs> so, for all of you out in podcast listening land, we hope you enjoyed tonight's show. Uh, sorry we had to cut the fight short, but, you know, scheduling. Um, Eric, Eric, will you be joining us again in two weeks? Absolutely. Awesome. All right. So didn't scare you away. Stumblefoot Stumblefoot will be returning. Um, again, we are so far in advance with these because we haven't been putting them out like we should. Uh, don't, can't tell you what date this will be out, but it'll be two weeks after the last one that you heard. So, but by that time (laughs) you won't know anyway. Um, so anyway, uh, (laughs) Check us out on Facebook. We have a page there under Playing Games with Strangers. We have an email. Does anybody know what the email is? Who's manning the email? I'm manning the email. I don't remember what it is, it's though. Playing Games with Strangers at gmail.com. Yes. Playing Games with Strangers at gmail.com. Send us a message. Send us whatever you want to send us. And uh, please, 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 please. Uh, rate our podcast uh subscribe and give a review uh that gets people of like minds to find our podcast and possibly enjoy the podcast that you enjoy as well and that helps us out greatly so um, anybody got anything else to say listen to uh supersonic pod comics because we're all involved there yeah strangeandaliens.com don't tell disney about us (laughs) <laughs> please oh do i mean if they need a new poo um yeah no so on on that note uh thanks for listening and we'll catch you in two weeks peace we love you xoxo <laughs> <laughs>